morning everyone and welcome to this week's update. I hope that you and your families are all well and have a fantastic, have had, sorry, a fantastic week this week. So again, lots going on at school uh, to update you on. Um, I think, uh, first of all, I'd just like to say what a fantastic start it's been for just about every single student in school. Um, I'm up and down the school from reception to year 11, walking it as much as I can, outside uh, visiting people. And it is, first of all, lovely to see so many of you um, come and say hello. So thank you very much for that. It's always nice to say hello. But also, when you visit the classrooms, just seeing how calm, how focused, how fun they are as well across the school in every year group. And the children have made such a fantastic start to school. It's been really, really pleasing to see. Um, and just a couple of other things. First of all, on Wednesday evening in the primary, or Wednesday after school, I should say, in the primary, we are going to have a meeting with the Scouts, and we are going to try and get up and running with Zahia, uh, a Scout troop, um, which is then located in the primary school. I know there is a massive waiting list for that. Uh, it's a real need, so we're really, really proud to be working with Zahir on that. Um, so if you're interested in that or want to come and volunteer, then please do get in touch with the Scouts and they will let you know. And the second thing I want to just share with you is, as you know, I'm really proud of our school. I may have mentioned that. I love my job. I may have mentioned that. And um, one part of my job is to make sure that people notice us as a school. One of the things that frustrates me is how easy I overlooked certain communities, certain schools can be. So I, you know, I champion in that. And that's that idea around a voice to change the world. And it means us for an organisation, for a community. And, you know, uh, what I wanted to say is that um, at the back end of last year, we applied to become a flexible working ambassador school. Now, what that means is fundamentally, um, we work and we try and uh, look at staffing and try to make sure that we keep and retain the best staff possible in school. And that means we try and have some more flexible working arrangements. And that might be fractional working or that might be allowing staff to work at home for certain parts of the days. But we've put loads and loads in place to make sure that we've got happy and brilliant staff because fundamentally that's what we want for your children. Your children deserve the very, very best teachers. And we've realised that the more flexible we can be with staff, the better it is for children. And actually they achieve more, they're happier. We've got better staff retention rates and all of those things. And it's been nice, again, to be recognised that on a national stage. So we're one of only 12 schools in the country who have got this designation. We're the only school in the country who's got the designation for working with schools in disadvantaged areas um, like ours. And uh, we're really looking forward to going out and working with other schools. So I just wanted to share that fantastic news with you. We're also continuing our work with the um, free school meal campaign and making sure that everybody gets access to a free school meal. Continuing our work with Voice 21 and looking at Oracy and holding national um, conferences at school. We're also hosting lots and lots of training and development um, courses at school, uh, working with HLTAs uh, to make sure that they're the best possible things to support your children. So we've got apps. Absolutely loads going on in a bigger picture and the reputation of our school is just getting better and better and thank you to everyone who is contributing to that, all the family, all the parents. It is, you know, I think we're doing something really, really special here and I'm really proud of it. So I'm going to break into the two separate ones now, one for secondary and one for primary. So thank you very much. Have a lovely weekend, everybody, and I shall speak to you again next week. Everyone, so this is the primary update, um, uh, and I just want to say what a fantastic uh, school it is down in primary. Now, this year I am teaching in primary school, and I'm very sorry to the year six families who I am teaching. I'm trying to teach them history, um, I'm really enjoying it, and it's lovely to work with them. Um, and uh, they're an absolute joy. And this week I've been going to different primary schools and talking to other year six students about coming to year seven um, next year. And um, it's always lovely to get back to our students. Um, so I just wanted to say that. And it's, what, what's interesting is um, it shows the work that has gone on because I think we're going to be one of the most improved primary schools in the country, phases I should say. And um, I know the staff have worked incredibly hard last year to improve the SATs results and the students have made like five grades of progress since where they were in year one. So it's quite an incredible achievement um, for the students who left us last year and it shows what a really strong primary phase that we have. So again, loads and loads has been going on in primary and um, we've had loads, of, we've had the uh, phonics session uh, with new families in and thank you very much for that. We've had loads of work around year four map skills. We have had introduced family dining back again. Um, we've had some sessions, staff have had some sessions um, looking at how we can improve our geography and history curriculum, some training around that. Um, staff are also doing uh, a step counter. They're trying to walk over 500,000 steps of charity, I think it is. Um, so loads and loads of stuff going on and just 
really the joy in the children's faces. It is lovely to see them. And it's always wonderful to see them when they come up to secondary, actually. And they're getting to see that expertise. And that's absolutely brilliant. And I think what I've really liked this week is seeing that our maths and science specialists working with our students more from secondary into primary. And I know Mr. Sladin, who is the director of maths in secondary, is going down and supporting the work in there. And I think that's really unique for our school. It's a sense that we have that sense of subject expert, not just in art, but you know, we've got it now in history, or I try to be anyway. Um, and we've got it in math, we've got it in science. We're really trying to get that sense of expertise as well as with the expertise of the primary practitioners and all of the support that they provide as well. So your children are getting the very, very best deal. I want to end on Zia, who is our poet laureate and who is at a competition today on a Saturday, um, reading his poem, Chocolate. So I am going to leave you with Zia, his poem, and it is absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much, everyone, and have a lovely weekend. I felt the same if I had a sibling, that's what I would have played.